Well, hello there, every- Oh my goodness. Something there did not go the right way. It felt funny. Ugh, pardon me. Back for some more dicey dungeons, let's show off the robots. Once again, we'll just do- what is the- Duplicate dice vanish immediately- oh, that's awful. Alright, so we'll just do standard rules for Mr. Robot. Ha. Oh, to... no, no, no. Just write us here at the dungeons. Oh, ah. Don't forget to whisper your most secret hope into the envelope. <clears throat> She's so malevolent. Alright, so let's go take on the gardener. So, here's how the robot differs from the warrior and the thief. He has the calculate mechanic, which basically means you can roll as many dice as you want, as long as it doesn't go over the target number. Right now, the robot CPU can handle nine. And my starting equipment is... I'll just say it, it's a little tragic. Here we go. Alright, so... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Use your die. Now, if we get lucky and get right on target, which there's a one in six chance of, we get the jackpot. And no, I did not time that. That was just, I don't know, I'm lucky, I guess. So now we can do five damage, regenerate three health. He health? Wow. Didn't realize my English was that bad. Health. Or roll one more die. Rolling one more die isn't worth it. I'm at full health. I guess we're doing a lucky shot. Five damage. Here we go. Alright, what are you doing? You're gonna shovel me. Oh no. No. Oh. Earth element damage in my face. And eh, we'll just plasma blast our power too. Don't you go poking around in my mushrooms! It's taken me 83 years to get them this soggy. Give you some ideas to what lady as to what Lady Luck is doing with these people. She just kind of feeds off of their desires. Cheat code, that's really good. Can increase our jackpot range, so if we get close, we can just hit that and hey, presto changeo jackpotto. Yeah, because I have so much poison to use, right? Good job, idiots. Uh. Oh, we've got a four and six, or two thirds chance of not busting, one sixth chance of not going over. I think start there. Oh, again. Oh, lovely. Yeah, pea shooter is going as soon as I can justify getting rid of it. Alright, so I'm gonna take 8 damage, but it doesn't really matter because you're pretty much going down. And this is his limit break. Auto roll, basically. Let's just show it off. You you roll it, you automatically get up to jackpot guaranteed. But let's assume that you bust. You can also auto roll to get your jackpot anyway. So, it's very... it's... <clears throat> that malleable is not the word I'm looking for, it's... For some reason, as of late, I've been having difficulty with my words. It's very user-friendly. Alright, Mr. Pirate Captain. What in the world is this? Not bad, not bad. By the way, for what it's worth, I'm still looking for my first victory with the Sorceress. I don't understand why I'm having such a hard time securing a victory with her. I like her playstyle, I really do, but my goodness is she difficult to play. That's what I thought. Oh well. Alright, I think it's better just to regenerate some health. 
Because I am kind of getting beat up here. And that's what the pirate does. He's just all about that raw damage. Ugh, lame. This might be why I don't do so well with the robot, because I you know, real I get I get blindsided by ambition. And that ends up me leading me to turns where I can't do anything, I just get punished for it. And on the early floors, that's not a huge issue, but on the later floors, yeah, I can't be doing that. Let's try Juggling Ball. Go after Stereo Head. Oh. All right, not bad, not bad. Just gotta beat you and we're at full health. Alright, what got weakened? Juggling ball. I don't even get a new die from it now. Oh, sucks at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. I let myself get blinded by uh, by the possibility of, oh I can get I can get anything! See, that time it was just the odds working against me. Oh yeah. This this run might end very quickly. If that's the case, I'll just try. I'll just try again. Alright, you get to weaken me for two. Worried about that more than the damage. Well, of course, the things I actually wanted to worry about. Ugh, damn it. Okay, I kind of use a turn where things don't get screwed. Okay, I think I got him. For what it's worth, as of... I've, I've been taking Buster Sword, it's very useful, but... You know what? I want to try Ultima Weapon this time. It might not be the smartest idea, but at the same time... Mechanical Arm, each roll you get more damage. Do I have a place to put that? Oh yes, yeah, so over Pea Shooter, because Pea Shooter is terrible. Give me a new die. There's a one. Fortunately, not the most helpful thing. That's what I thought. Okay. I really gotta stop doing that. Alright, that means my first roll is going to be a 1. Alright, put that into Juggling Ball, blap. Put that into Plasma Blaster, blap. Okay, that's what I thought. Now, like I said, I know that Ultima Weapon is the smarter choice, but at the same time, on these turns, that item is just beast. Alright, next floor. We got 
the Dryad, the Sorceress, and the Vacuum. Let's take on the Dryad so we can get that upgrade spot. Mmm, bust it out, soundtrack. You can do it. Perfect. We'll do 8 damage with that. Get a new roll. Bust out the mechanical arm. Do that. Look at look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Of course, now you get the Venus flytrap me for 6, because you're a jerk. There we go. Lovely. That was a good fight. Alright, so now let's see what Ultima Weapon upgrades to. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. I like increased jackpot range by two. I think we go for Ultima Weapon this time. Then next upgrade we get... Spatula, flip a dice upside down. Ooh, I do like that. And what does my equipment look like? Maybe I have room for spatula somewhere. Let's actually try putting it over mechanical arm. It might be a mistake, but hey, I want, I'm willing to try something different. Alright, Sorceress next. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. Put this here. Oh, we're gonna flip that upside down for sure. Do the guaranteed damage, because I had a feeling I was gonna bust. Okay. Oh, that burning light's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Let's auto roll. Yeah, I know, I know. Sure, we'll put you down. Thank you, Ultima Weapon. More CPU! Yay! That level up actually helps quite a bit. Alright, well, let's hit the juggling ball. Oh. That's why I want to upgrade cheat code. Alright, well, whatever, let's do it. I was about to say, I'm going to feel silly if I do that, and then it turns out I could have done this. Oh, well. Sometimes guaranteed better damage is better than taking a shot. So, that, flip the spatula upside down, and that's the fight. Oh, Ultima Weapon. Ugh, how embarrassing. If this gets back to the Roombas, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> Healing Crystal. I'll take it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. And just to be fair, there's really no reason not to take it. Fourth floor, let's go. Who do we got? Well, my very first fight is against the Yeti. Honestly, you giving me a bunch of ones is probably not going to be the worst thing in the world. Give me a new die. Oh, yes sir. Mm, pardon me. Again, this is why I need to... Upgrade, upgrade cheat code. Oh well. It was worth a try. Uh, well, at least you're only hitting me for three. Hey. 
Give me a new die. Alright, not bad. I put that there. I put that there. Damn. Oh well. Sometimes it's worth taking a chance, sometimes you just get beat up. In this case, I just got beat up. This would be one of those times where it's actually real a real good idea to have... What was I thinking? Never mind, apparently my brain is fried today. It's gonna make my day at work real fun and barely think. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I wanted to... Damn! I am not on the ball today, I must... I, I admit. Let's actually save the auto roll for the next fight, because honestly, I've got you here. Spatula, flip it to a six, ultimate weapon done. Oh, I was gonna say, I was, I, I was, that would have been a good time to have re-rolled, uh, to have, not re-rolled, but upgraded cheat code. Give me the health. Quicker man fight, let's go. Alright. I think I want to go for heavy damage this time around. Let's do it. Boom. Give me that. Don't really want a six, but that's okay. Let's turn you to a four. Hit you. Alright, and look at that. One round, you're almost done. Hit you three, yay. And two, yay. Do that. Do that. Let's do that. Chance it. Oh, beautiful. And done. See what I find really, really interesting about what Terry Kavana has done with this game is that not only are there a bunch of different characters, but they all actually play pretty differently. It's 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 done really well. I like it. No, because I might slot mechanical arm back in for the end. Chocolate cookie. I didn't take it, but I don't know if I've got room for it. It's not bad for the old high stakes game. Huh? High stakes game of do a bunch of damage with ultimate weapon. Let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. Alright, that, cho that chocolate cookie might be worth something, but see, we'll see. I've been wrong about things before. So far, it seems to be working out. I don't even like that. Granted, it does work out well with... Reduce CPU counter by bebedebede. Would that work better than cheat code, I wonder? I kind of think that upgrading cheat code will still be better. Anyway, down to the next floor. Oh, Aurora. But you're blocking my upgrade slot. Oh, and Singer! Probably one of my favorite enemies just because of how ridiculous she is. Alright, well. Turn you into a three. Juggling ball. Beautiful. I wanna do damage. That'll be 14. Alright. Look at that, over halfway dead in one turn. So good. Alright, you're probably gonna freeze one of my die. Thank you. I so appreciate that. 
<laughs> if we auto roll now, we can pretty much just have you downed. Matter of fact, we can do it in one swift move here. Chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie. I screwed up, but that's okay, I still have you. Next time, do chocolate cookie first before you do fee- huh? or, yeah. Spatula, then do the chocolate cookie moves, then yeah. Anyway. You've picked a great time to come by. The vacuum was just around for tea, so it's super clean in here at the mo. Alright, so... I think upgrading cheat code is a better idea. Spike shield, force field. It's actually not bad, but I've got a heavy damage build going on at the moment. I'm going to stick with that, and I'll come back for... We'll probably come back for the health later. Alright. Juggling ball. Let's flip that to a 5. Trying to make the cheat code work for me, damn. Oh well. Doesn't always work out. Admittedly, I'm having fun with the heavy damage build, but it is iffy. I openly admit that. Doesn't mean I'm not having fun with it, though. Give me another die. There we go. All right. Let's do 14 damage now. Prep chocolate cookie. Uh... Yeah, he's doing a good amount of damage to me. But this should about do it. Equipment. Bump blade. Do one damage, get new dice. I mean, I don't have a choice but to take it, but I don't gotta use it. Alright, take on the singer, and then I'll go back to the cowboy once I've got that other bastion of health. All right, jewel wannabe. I'm going to want to do. Actually, I pull one more die. Crap, chocolate cookie, ultimate weapon. All right, looking good. Next turn. I just love that she sings everything that she does. It's, it's just beautiful. Oh, you jerk. Oops. And like I said, that's my weakness with the robot. Why always Ultima Weapon? Why? This might actually be where I lose. I'm just getting wrecked. Yep. Is that robot is not one of my stronger characters, and you can probably see why. So I'll probably try again with the robot later. But because I'm trying to in introduce all the characters, next up will be the inventor. And I'm still trying just on my own to beat the game with the witch. I don't know, I'm having a huge amount of problems with the witch, so 
I really hope that someone has some advice for me for playing the witch, and you'll see when I get to it, but... Pardon me. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel to see more in the future. Drop me a like and a comment, but the best thing you can do with this video, as always, is to share it with a friend. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and more dicey dungeons to come, hopefully not with terrible play.